What's up? What's going on, Kyler? How are you? What up, dog? How's fight week going? Good? Yeah, doing great, man. Just um, out here. Yeah, it's been, uh, it's been a few months since we've seen you compete. Um, how excited are you to be back, but also get a pretty marquee name in uh, Pedro Munoz? I'm just enjoying the journey, man. I love this stuff. I love what I do. I love representing myself and what I do as a martial artist, and I can't wait to showcase all the skills that I have and the spirit I have as a fighter. Was Pedro one of the guys, like, after your last fight, that when you looked at the rankings and you were trying to figure out who would be next, was he a guy that was on your radar? Definitely, definitely. Uh, another tough dude that's got so much accolade, so much skill set, and a lot of time and experience in the game. So that's just a... Uh, it's just another opportunity for me to literally just be the best version of myself. It seems like a lot of times when people fight him, like nobody looks particularly gr great against him. Like he's always pretty competitive. Um, leg kicks are a big part of his game as well. So any changes in preparation for this one, or you got just kind of stick to the recipe and just a little, couple little minor things. Yeah. Um, I guess kind of how do you see it playing out in your head uh, without giving up way too much? There's so many different things that could happen all in, in uh, basically in, in, my, in, my, in my fight game. So like, I think I'm just gonna let it all play and there's so many different things that I'll be able to do to him on my speed, on my timing, on my territory, in my time and in my octagon. And uh, I just need to make sure that I'm there and that's my, that's my job. Is it cool to, to share the card with Sean as well? Yeah, definitely. That's uh. It's been a long time coming, man. I met that guy up over 10 years ago, and it's cool to see all of us, everybody's just get into that next level and see him headlining as the UFC champion, you know, and he's uh, set a very good example, and I love, uh, I just, I love it, dude. Does it surprise you at all how big he's become, like that real A-list sort of superstar status? He's always had that, that energy about him. He's always had that kind of like just do something crazy like since I met him and that's just his personality you know and like it's um uh, you always knew something he's going somewhere with it you know and like uh yeah I just we, we we knew that was coming for sure and I guess for we see him with the hair and his persona and you know he's great at talking but as somebody that has to go to work with him and, and train with him and you know, have a personal relationship with him. I guess, what kind of guy is he behind the scenes when the lights aren't there? Super genuine, very smart, very calculated, trains his butt off and put a lot of time and his life into this. And that's why you see he's UFC champion. And uh, it's just cool to be around that energy, man. Him, Tim, got my guy Marcus back there, Hanchi Nico. We're running this, dude. We're running this shit. Obviously, going along with that, you sharing the card with Sean, how were the emotions like at MMA Lab going into this fight week? Emotions? Yeah, just like emotions of, you know, sharing. No emotion. I no just, emotion. yeah, I just love it. You know, I got good feelings, definitely. Good energy, good feelings. And, uh, dude, this, this is an awesome journey, and just fighting is the best. This is so cool to have an outlet like this, you know? It's not a normal life. It's, it's cool to be able to do this for a living, and... I've been doing this my whole life. I've put so much time. Since I was six years old, I wanted to be a UFC champion. When I was 12 years old, I wrote that down, UFC champion, to my dad. And I saw that piece of paper somewhere. And, uh, dude, I'm chasing after that same, same goal, and I will be. I will be UFC champion. And I'm just super stoked about all this stuff because I'm living the life that I've always wanted. That's awesome. And the journey for you continues here with a big fight against Pedro Munoz. Do you think that fight is kind of being overlooked or slept on given how good of a card this is? Uh, no, I think it's just, again, the UFC is the highest level of this stuff. So, like, every single fight in here is at that level. So it's just cool to be a part of 299. This is a, a sick, uh, super sick card, super stacked. And Miami, you know, Miami's about to get lit. Most definitely. And, and your opponent, Pedro, he's fought both of the guys fighting in the main event. So obviously the Sugar one was, not, was an unfortunate ending for both guys. But what did you make of his fights with O'Malley and Cheeto? Similar, uh, similar with the ranges a little bit. Um, speeds are a little bit different. But yeah, the, the body type, kind of a kickboxing match, playing with the range. But even my fight with him and Cheeto's fight with him and Sean's fight, it's three different fights, but it's kind of similar. Same, same. You know, yeah. The front right here. Yo, Something. there he is. Got the new blowout haircut. Oh, don't say it's a blowout. <laughs> um, Slick. 
I do have to ask, though. Uh, you said, like, your goal is to be UFC champion. Yes. Your teammate is the champion of your division. Have you had that conversation with him? Like, hey, if I keep winning, we might have to do this. Dude, things happen. Things are going to happen. Whatever happens. I got another guy in the back. There's so many at the lab, too. We got so many dudes. You got Mario Bartista as well. Like, whatever happens, we are just we are fighting. We're training. We're making money. We're representing ourselves. We're representing our team. And, uh, this, yeah, it's like, you know what I mean? So I guess a better question would be, have you had that conversation with coaches? Like, would you, like, who would coach who in a situation like that? That's, yeah. <laughs> we'll see. We will see. That's not, yeah. And uh, just last one for me. Uh, do you feel like the forgotten man in this division, considering, like, you know, you have the winner? Hell no, nah, bro. I, like, I don't, I, I look in the mirror every day. I ain't no forgotten man. I wake up. It's me. It ain't nobody else. So that's why there's no forgotten man. Same with you. You guys wake up doing what you do, and you love it, this, that's the only life. And you're the one in that shoes, so that's, you know, that's what I do. That's it? What about one for, you, one for me? <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much.